Howdy, y'all. How we doing? Doing pretty good. Myself. It was a Monday, which is fine. Got back to work. No big deal. Um, but I'm excited to get back into this. Um, this I, I've been very tired today, so I feel like this will kind of really settle me down and get me into the night. So just give a little team recap. Of course, we have Margo here now holding the leftovers. We've got Rupert Grunt with that black belt in reversal now. Pampras, of course, with that ice beam. Tech, the Skarmory, might teach Tech Toxic. We'll see about that. Um, let's see. We got Sinaiquil, the Typhlosion, of course, rocking that Thunder Punch, Fire Punch combo. Lucius, the Espeon, really rocking that Shadow Ball in the Sabrina fight. So we actually just got our 14th badge from Sabrina. And I flew back to Pewter City here because we need to make our way south to um, Viridian City. But one thing that you'll encounter, we kind of have this like kind of Viridian Forest theme because like, look how they've massacred my boy. <laughs> it is just a row of trees. It's not even like its own area anymore. But, you know, again, very common theme. The space restraints that they had for Gen 2. Um, oh, JJB, of course. Um, there are a certain amount of badges we want. Um, we need to get all 16, uh, because there's 8 in Johto and 8 in Kanto, to, to be able to unlock the last part of the game. Like, the very last section of the game that we are going to see. Um... Oh, a dire hit, but I can't carry any more items. Can I see your message? Yes, I can. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, is it not? Sh it's not showing up on my chat, is it? Down here. That's interesting. Hold up. It should be showing up right there. Well, how about that? Yeah, it's not showing up. That's very odd. Interesting. I'll have to look into that. Um... Let's see. I'm probably going to sell that Dire Hit in all honesty. Oh, and I'm going to sell that Max Potion. Um, I'll just toss this Escape Rope. We don't need that right now. Alright. Hello, Dire Hit. Good to see you. Yeah, sorry the chat's not showing up below me right there. It's supposed to, for sure. It's very weird. Um, alright. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because honestly, I don't really know how... What if I send something? What if I pop in here and say, Hello. Nope, nothing. Very weird. Um, well, I can see you. Um, and let's just roll into this trainer here. So, as we keep going, we're going to get to Viridian City, um, because we're going to need to be able to fly there eventually, um, and we're actually going to make our way down to Cinnabar Island, and that's actually going to have one of my favorite sections, probably in all of Kanto, um, once we get to Cinnabar Island. It's actually really, really cool. Um... Oh, mom's calling. Uh, she bought a doll. Okay, somebody remind me because at some point we need to stop into our room in Johto to fig uh, to show off all of those poke dolls that your mom buys. And we got these bug catchers here that they're just. Uh, they're getting out of the new version of Viridian Forest, and at this point, Margo can just one-shot them. It's pretty gorgeous. Um, let's see here. Um, Butterfree, we will let Tech take this out. Got that classic fly. Johto Room Poke Dolls? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That is pretty much exactly what I said. Um, I don't know if we'll get to it this episode. We'll see. I mean, 
Uh, we might we might really just get rolling. Um, it might be in the next episode that we check it out, but who knows? Um, all right, so now. I went high that time. <laughs> um, all right, we're just gonna pop a heel in here. Stop at the Pokemon Center. So right now we got we're here in Viridian City. There's nothing really to do um, because there is no gym leader right now, and we're gonna find out why. Oh. Perfect. Oh, so great. Oh, actually, before I do that, um, I was just making a whole fu big fuss about our items. So let me sell a couple of those. Uh, we'll sell the Dire Hit. We'll sell the Max Potion. Honestly, we can sell these Super Potions. Because we have those Sodi Pops. Um, we'll probably keep all of these. I am going to deposit out metal coat because we are not likely to use that we could maybe end up using that for tech at some point um, but right now I'm gonna pop it in the old PC this elixir as well that focus band could maybe come in handy sorry let's speed back to where we were delightful delightful music all right um, so with Margo up, Tech is usually one of our tougher ones to level up, just because he doesn't really have, um, a ton of strong moves to use yet. Um, I mean, really his defenses and fly are doing a lot of the heavy lifting for us. But... We're going to get Steel Wing, I believe, in four levels. So really, I know before we take on the kind of final fights of the game, I want our squad to be at level 50. And if we get to the point where we've done just like a ton of the story stuff and our team isn't quite there yet, I might grind just off stream like I did the other time, you know. Uh, with this, we'll go into Sinai Quill. Yes. She's Thunder Punch. There we go. Love it. Smoke screen fails. Easy peasy. Um, I also love how that guy, that kid has a Jinx, a Magmar, and Electabuzz. Um, because they are kind of a trio. Um, and all three of them got baby forms in Generation 2, which is just a nice, lovely little thing. So wonderful. Uh, alright. So she, I believe, yes, has an Ivysaur. I thought that was her lead. Um, again, sorry the chat's not working on my screen here. I, I mean, I can still see it on kind of like my OBS setup, and I can see it on Twitch. Um, it's just not showing up on my actual screen. That's very weird. Um, and <laughs> I would troubleshoot it, but I don't really know how to right now. So I'll, I'll troubleshoot it off, off, off stream. You forgive me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's also it's very weird having our electric type move on our fire type because that's just always when we're gonna use what we're gonna use against water types. Mm. This is the starting town in generation one. Hmm. Let's see what Professor Oak is up to. Ah, oh, SCG, it's good of you to come all this way to Kanto. What do you think of the trainers out here? Pretty tough, huh? Ah, you're collecting the Kanto gym badges. I imagine that's hard, but the experience is sure to help you. Come see me when you get them all. I'll have a gift for you. Um, all right. So, 
Professor Oak just kind of confirms what we already knew, um, or what I had already said at least. Um, but now we know that we need to go see him once we have all the badges. Um, I'm pretty sure in Generation 1, this was the only patch of grass to catch Tangela or Mr. Mime. I think that's true. Someone correct me if I'm wrong in the comments slash chat. Um, alright, so I'm thinking we'll take out most of the trainers on this route. Should be pretty simple. I don't think there's a ton of these swimmers out here. Oh, wow. But we do just have four Pokemon on this girl. What was her name? Naomi? Oh, Nikki, not Naomi. Um, you know, it's interesting. I am learning Japanese very, very, and I mean very slowly. Um, <laughs> and I didn't realize that Naomi was... Uh, <laughs> Love that sped up music. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, some of these battles can be kind of trivial. Um, I didn't know Naomi was such a... Or at least according to my Duolingo, it's a very common Japanese name. Um, or Ken. Almost every sentence is like, <laughs> Naomi or Ken. <laughs> uh, let's see. Pampress I'm going to save, actually because if we're going to the Cinnabar Gym, we're going to have a real nice matchup for Pampers to catch some levels. But here, we can just kind of rock out with some of our Pokemon that don't have as many type matchups. And Margo has almost none being a normal type. But also, this is what's great about Generation 2. Um, <laughs> sexy swimmer girl! <laughs> Good to see a tech. Yeah, the chat's not showing up on my, below my face for some reason. Um, and I don't know why, but, uh, I can still see everybody's. And you can still see your own, just not on my screen, so I'm not too fussed about trying to mess with it right now. I feel like we'd all rather appreciate the content, you know? Um... But, uh, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yes, one thing I love about Generation 2, how Margo is just a regular old Dunsparce, still rocking headbutt, pretty early game move, but you got those flinches, it's still pretty strong, like, for the most part, you know, and against the, like, toughest fights in the game, it's not going to be super great, but you combo that with some screeches, you combo that with some glares, like, it's a, it's a good little combo. Um, <laughs> I do usually read it all out anyway, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, we'll go in tech. So here's Octillery. I don't really know if we've seen Octillery. Um, Remoraid evolves into Octillery, and... I've talked about this a little bit. Remoraid was kind of designed to look like a gun, and Octillery was designed to look like a tank. And that's kind of like the way they're connected. Um, but uh, in the finalized version, they looked they look far less like a gun and a tank for, you know, violence reasons. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, teaching all your Pokemon headbutt. I mean, that is great. And in this game, it's really nice that <laughs> the World War II Pokemon... <laughs> um, in this game, you can buy the TM for headbutt. So it's a, it's something really useful that, like, most of your team can learn. That's really simple. Okay. So now... We're getting into Cinnabar Island, and look what happens when I t step on here. Oh, wait, no. I thought it was different music. Gosh, I've done that a few times. I think that's in the remake where the music is different. Um, let's see. But... Heal the squad real quick. Alright, so here is where we're gonna get into one of my favorite little scenes. And we have this guy standing in the corner. I wonder who that is. Cinnabar Island. The fiery town of burning desire. Okay, but when we look over here and talk to this fella, who are you? 
Well, it's plain to see that you're a trainer. My name's Blue. What? The rival from the first game. I was once the champion, although it was only for a short time. That meddling red did me in. Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna see red later. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, what do you want? You wanna challenge me or something? I hate to say it, but I'm not in the mood for a battle right now. Take a look around you. A volcano erupts, and just like that, a whole town disappears. We can go on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, we can lose in a second. Hmm. That's the way it is. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me, come to Viridian Gym. I'll take you on then. So Blue's the Viridian Gym leader now, which is crazy, and he talks about how Cinnabar Island was destroyed by the volcano. Now, in Generation 1, you can't really tell that there's a volcano on Cinnabar Island, but it's very, like... It's, like, canonically known that there's a volcano on Cinnabar Island. And as you can see in this game, it's just kind of like rocks and rubble. There's only the Pokemon Center here. And a rare candy. Hello, Arrow... Arrobo! Um, so, nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Imagine Red. That would be crazy, right? Um, <laughs> he's very proud of being champion for two minutes. Yes, of course he is. Um, but... Oh, this is interesting. There's a notice here. Cinnabar Gym has relocated to Seafoam Island, sign Blaine. Okay. Um, I love how the uh, Cinnabar Gym has been destroyed. I just love how it gets destroyed. It's a good story point is what I mean. Um, so the Cinnabar Gym is over here in the Seafoam Islands. I'm just going to skip these trainers for now. Because Cinnabar Gym, Leader Blaine. So, if you remember, in Pokemon Yellow, this is where we found Articuno. But in this game, all it is is just one lonely cave where Blaine resides. I also love how they give the gym leader music to him here. <laughs> This is the gym, baby! This is it! He's just like, I'm standing in this cave, and if you want to challenge me, let's do it. Very DIY. So, with that, we're gonna challenge him. Also, love his new sprite with the spectacles. I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> uh, wah! My gym and Cinnabar burned down! My fire-breathing Pokémon and I are homeless because of Volcano! Wah! But! I'm back in business as a gym leader here in this cave. If you can beat me, I'll give you a badge. Ha! You better have burn heal. Oh, his classic catchphrase. It's good to know he hasn't lost his, uh, his, his, his spirit. Also, look at that sprite. That is a sick sprite. I talked about this earlier, but holy crap, love the redesign. So good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I love that little squirtle emoji. That's awesome. Um, ba, 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 da. Oh, this is a Macargo. Um, Slugma, the first form of Macargo, is another one of those Pokemon that you can only find in Kanto for some reason. But unfortunately for Macargo, it is a rock fire type, so this surf is just going to just wipe it off the face of the earth. Um, and there it goes. Let's see. There we go. I'm probably just going to stick in with Pampers here. Um, because Blaine's got some tough Pokemon, but he's only got three. Um, he has the the new Generation 2 Pokemon, Macargo. Um, he's got a Magmar. Ooh, that's interesting. This will weaken my Surfs. Um, so he's got this Magmar. And in the Generation 1 games, Blaine doesn't actually have a Magmar. But in the anime, that's like his signature Pokemon, which is very interesting. Especially considering they don't give him one in yellow, which is supposed to be kind of like an anime fan. That is a sun-boosted fire punch. No match for our Pampras, our big bulky Lapras. Love to see him. And then finally, his ace is a Rapidash. Which I also found kind of odd growing up that Rapidash was his ace Pokemon in this game. Because again, it was all about that Magmar. All about that Magmar. Ah, it's faster. That makes sense, though. 
Um, again, love this sprite. But as you can tell, and as we've been going along, um, I've ooh fire blast that might have knocked out Lapras. But a lot of these Kanto gyms are pretty trivial. Like that wasn't too bad at all. Pampers just pretty much easily soloed that fight. Da -ba -da. Ba -ba -ba. Awesome! I've burned out. You've earned Volcano Badge. You know, I was just thinking just now. Maybe the reason they put some of these Johto Pokemon in Kanto is because they want you to kind of, like, train them up a little bit and use them to challenge the new gym, so maybe they're not so easy. It's kind of interesting. Maybe that is why they did that. It's not really realistic for what any players would do, but it's interesting. I did lose this time, but I'm going to win the next time when I rebuild my Cinnabar gym. We'll have a rematch then. Aw, oh, how about that, Blaine? And then this guy is just like, yo, I didn't even know where the gym was. <laughs> um, I knew you'd win. So yeah, I really like the whole deal with the Cinnabar gym. Um, and how it like needs to be rebuilt and all of that. So one thing I'm going to do now, now that we've defeated Blaine, we can probably pop back over here... Oops. Surf around. I think there's just like one or two trainers here on this route. Um, between... Like, this guy always got some Meryl. Like, eat my Thunder Punch of Fury. You know? <laughs> um, excuse me. Uh, I think there's only a couple of trainers on this route. Um, just kind of clear them out real quick. Oh, there's just the one trainer, actually. How about that? Um, I know there are a few more there to the east of the Seafoam Islands, but we, we're just going to go straight into it. Um, because that little cutscene that you get with Blue at um, the Cinnabar Island there, you don't get that until after you've done the Magnet Train power plant business. Because, yeah, like I said, that's really the only story bit in Kanto that you have to do, because that unlocks, like, Misty being on her date, that unlocks Blue being at Cinnabar Island, that unlocks your ability to fight and catch the Snorlax. So, um, oops, Repel's effect wore off. So, as you can see when we talk to this guy, are you going to battle the leader? Good luck to you, you'll need it. That is foreboding. And his gym is full of Legos. Don't ask me why, but it's it's the Lego gym, I guess. Um, so Blue is the leader in Viridian City now. He does not have a type specialty. He kind of has what people kind of consider his like canonical team. And it's not really what he has in yellow. They really went out of their way to give him a team that's kind of against the grain for him. Um, but... Tech, you know, you're right. Legos are cool. Maybe that's why. They're like, let's make it a Lego gym. Why? Because they're cool. The end. What else needs to be said? So, um, I'm going to save one more time because I have anxiety. And we're going to give Blue a try. His levels are much higher, not much higher, but certainly higher um, than all the other gym trainers that we've fought here in Kanto. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? Huh, <laughs> Johto's gyms must be pretty pathetic then. Ah, oh, Blue. Overconfident as always. Hubris will be your downfall. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you are good or not by battling you right now. Ready, Johto champ? Uh, getting this music so many times is just a true wonder. So he's got six Pokemon. His squad is more kind of like mid to late level 50s. Like 56 here. Um... I don't know if Sinaiquil is really the lead that I wanted, but I'm going to roll with it. Uh, we do have this super effective Thunder Punch. I'd love if this did half. I would love that. 
And it does. That's a crit. That's a crit right there. Love to see it. Love to see it. Ah, mirror move. That is a, po a move that the bird Pokemon... Come on. That's dumb. That's a move that a lot of the bird Pokemon learn. Ha, joke's on you. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> so for mirror move, they mirror the last move that was used. And it did paralyze my Sinaiquil, which makes me angry. But that's okay. Rhydon, as we all know, Rhydon is always just an easy one-shot with a water move. Ba -ba -ba. Yes, I do... Blue is always great, because as you go through Kanto, like I said, a lot of the other gyms are trivial, but this one can always end up being at least a bit of a challenge. Um, we have a pretty good team for him. Um, like, Lapras... Lapras might be one of the best Pokemon that you can use in this game, like, at all. Um, because just having that Surf and Ice Beam as Stab is just going to be crazy. Like, it just destroys his Rhydon, really helps with Lance, as we saw. Um, ooh, Reflect. Nice job, Alakazam. That will weaken my Shadow Ball here. Mm-hmm. So let's try Bite this time. We'll see if that does any better. Now, Lucius should be able to eat this Psychic pretty well. Okay, well, that was a critical hit. Um, but Al a Psychic from Alakazam is still super powerful, so... Um, that's always gonna hurt. If this doesn't crit, we should live. Okay, good. Good! Great. Grand. Wonderful. And as we kind of experienced in the yellow playthrough, um, having our levels below our enemy always makes for kind of a bit of a better fight. So Gyarados is one of his ace Pokemon here. I think I'm going to try to use a Glare. Ooh, Rain Dance. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, Gyarados in this game always... Oh, boy. That is going to be rain-boosted. It'll be stronger than normal. That's going to hurt a lot. Margo, eat it, eat it. Yes! Okay, great. So what's going to happen is I am... I got my leftovers. Oh, the Reflect faded. It's all coming up, Margo. We're going to outspeed. We're going to hit the first rollout. It's going to be fully paralyzed. Ah. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> I had a grand plan. Uh, it's okay, though. Uh, the fact that it is paralyzed is actually really nice. Um, -da -da -da. We're actually going to go out to... I don't know how many... Oh, he does have his executor left. We'll go out to Rupert Grunt. Um, Rupert's not going to have a ton that he can hit this thing with because Gyarados is part flying. Yeah, that doesn't do too much. I would have loved to get a Screech off with Dunsparce. That's okay, because he's going to have to recharge. And my guess is, now that the rain has stopped, he's going to want to set that rain up again. A full restore! Oh boy, that, uh, that changes things. Okay, I really hope he uses Hyper Beam again so we can get a nice recharge turn. Okay, it missed, but that is good. Oh, baby, we're getting the misses! The mishacks! Rupert's dodging! Oh! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> uh, guys. Alright, that's okay, though. Um, yes, I'm feeling pretty good because he's gonna have to recharge this turn. So, yes, one Swift should take this out real quick. And he's only got two Pokemon left. We do have good matchups for them. Arcanine. So Arcanine is his ace. I think that's the reason they don't give Blaine an Arcanine in this game, is because they really want, like, Arcanine to be Blue's kind of boss Pokemon. Um, with this, we're going to go for a Surf. Flamethrower's gonna hurt, um, just because Pampras is part ice. 
Okay, love that it didn't do half. That's great. That should just about guarantee us a win here, as long as we don't get a critical hit against us. We're crossing our fingies. No critical hit. Don't do it. Don't do it. Great. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. So now the old Arcanine is down. Um, all right, so all he has left is Executor. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to use Ice Beam. Oh, yeah, we outspeed. Can we get the freeze? That would be sick. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, that's great. I love that. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I'm gonna swap into tech here. Oh, he's a full restore. Dang it! <laughs> oh, loved that freeze. <laughs> that, I did. That was awesome. Uh, so, this Executor cannot do much to a Skarmory. Like, this Solar Beam is just gonna barely scratch us. Because we quad resist that. That did more than I thought, though. Um, and he's just gonna charge up again. Oh, critical hit, guys, guys. Our squad really pulled through with some clutch crits, some clutch freezes. Um, but that was a fun battle. All right, what? How the heck did I lose to you? All right, here, take this, it's Earth Badge, even though he doesn't have any ground, well, he does have some ground Pokemon, but you know what I mean. All right. Ah, all right. I was wrong. You're the real deal. You are a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Um, so, folks, with that, let's see. Uh, Professor Oak told us to give him an old uh, visit if we defeat all of the badges. Defeat all of the badges? Earn all the badges. Defeat all the gym leaders. Wow, that's excellent. You collected the badges of Jim's and Kanto. Well done. I was right in my assessment of you. Tell you what, SCG. I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But... We can make an exception in your case, SCG. Go up to Indigo Plateau. You can reach Mount Silver from there. Um, which is really cool. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, oh my gosh. You're farming a shiny Skarmory. That is awesome. Um, in honor of you. And you are right. I should fix my Discord. I should fix my chat. I should fix everything. <laughs> oh boy. Boys and girls. I just am forgetful. Just forgetful. So, we can go to Mount Silver right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, we can go to Mount Silver right now, but there's like some odds and ends stuff. I think that we, we should really do our best to kind of like clear up. Um, I want to fight a few more trainers. Oh, at the end of this, uh, stream today, we are going to check out my, uh, the Polka Dolls in Johto, uh, that, uh, someone was talking about earlier. Uh, let's see. But here, now that we've defeated all the gyms, I'm gonna just pop into this water and just take out the rest of the trainers in here. Um... So, as you all are well aware, I have decided to call myself on this platform Silver Cave Gaming. Um, my band, my metal project, is also called Silver Cave, or Silver Cave Band on Insta and uh, X and whatnot. Um, let's see, Tent of Cruel. And that name, Silver Cave, actually comes from Mount Silver. And 
I'll be very excited to show you, like, the moment when it pops up. Um, because every single time I play through this game, um, and it pops up, I'm like, there it is. Um, and I guess I can get into a little bit why I decided to call everything Silver Cave. Um, because when I was, when I was thinking about, you know, what to call my project, um, I thought a lot about what the name would be, obviously, as most people do. Um, but, you know, I, I tell this story. And I think I have like a TikTok somewhere where I tell this story. Um, when I was growing up, I would always play these Pokemon games with my cousin. Shout out to Matt. Um, and Matt and Mark. Um, let's see. But, uh, I would always play these games with them. And we really bonded over that. We were, like, close brothers, basically. And... Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. I looked over here. Um, but then when I started to kind of develop my love of music and, like, rock music as well, my cousin and I bonded over that, too. And he was a drummer. Um, so I would come over to his house and I would play the guitar in his room and he would play the drums in his room and we would jam out and it was really awesome. I loved it a lot. Oh, we are learning Psychic. Yes, Queen. Give it a side beam for Psychic. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so where was I? Yes. So my cousin and I, we would play music together in the same house where we would always play Pokemon together. Oh, your cousin's also a drummer. Cousins, they're always drummers. That old chestnut. Um, there we go. But, uh, we would always play music together. And I thought of, like, those times in my life and, you know, being with him in that house and that, like, my love of... Po <laughs> Ain't that the truth? My love of Pokemon and video games really kind of, like, merged with my love of music there in a way where those two things kind of felt, like, intrinsically linked. So, I, f I found it very appropriate to call my project Silver Cave, which is named after this game, essentially. Named after a location in this game. Um, and plus, I think it sounds cool. For a metal band, I think it's a pretty solid name. Um, especially for, you know, like the kind of music specifically that I make. Sorry, I'm just kind of looking around the water for some trainers to catch a few more levels. So yes, that's the story of how Silver Cave Band and Silver Cave Gaming was born. Silver Cave Gaming was born, like, two months ago. <laughs> Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Silver is indeed a metal! You are so right. I never even thought about it that way. I thought more about, like, the cave, like, the hard, rugged cave aesthetic. Um, but that's... <laughs> you're so right. I never thought of that. Uh, who's coming out? I don't even know. Meryl. Hmm. Guys, I am parched. I was very tired at school today, and I had to, like, read kids a book, and they just were not paying attention. So, here's Reversal. Ah, very cool-looking move. It's not a very powerful fighting move when you're at full health. It's more powerful when you're at lower health. But, I mean, that still did a lot. And I know this Lapras is only at level 32, but for it at the lowest strength it's going to be to do half to that Lapras, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, we'll let Margo pop to the front here. There we go. But yeah, as I was saying, I was really kind of... I had to, like, read this story to these kids, and they weren't paying attention, and... It's kind of always tough with them because they have a hard time paying attention in class. Um, so, 
we kind of like try to make accommodations for them, but you know, still sometimes they don't want to listen very much, and that's okay. We're all doing our best to help them get through school. Um, pretty powerful on a glass cannon like Heracross, indeed. Let's see. Another Starmie. This girl's got two Starmies. Starmie? People don't really think about it as much as such. Um, but Starmie is one of the strongest Pokemon in Pokemon, essentially. It's really good. Having Water and Psychic, especially in the early gens, is really strong. Um... And it has access to so many great TMs. Like, you can teach it Thunderbolt. Stuff like that. Um, Alright, so there... I'm gonna fight, like, one or two more trainers. Um, just to get the whole squad up to 47. So, um... Before we head over to Mount Silver... Um... Oh! Come on! That's a great remix! Ugh! So good! So there are tons of trainers on this route, um, just like in the original uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow. So I want to kind of get into some of them as we kind of round out some of our levels here. Um, once Heracross gets to level 47, um, I might do some grinding off screen just so you all aren't like totally bored getting the squad to level 50. Um, I might even only get them to level 49 just so Skarmory can learn, um, whatchamacallit, Steel Wing. But I am very excited to show. Mount Silver off to you guys because there's a really nice uh, kind of like callback to a spot from earlier in the game. Um, ooh, Zatu. This is like the worst possible Pokemon a Heracross could face. Good thing we're going to knock it out in one shot with the strength. He's too good. Rupert Grunt is too good. Alakazam, don't care. Hit me with a Psychic. Don't care. Going to eat it. Doesn't even outspeed. Goodbye. Love it. But that up. All right, we'll fight this here, nice lady. All right. Ah, Apom. I don't think we've seen an Apom. I do. I will say. I won't grind off screen. We're probably not going to do it this this uh, episode, but I do want to show you some of the trainers on this route because there are some Johto Pokemon that we haven't seen that some of these trainers have. Apom you find in headbutt trees like how we found Heracross. Um, I'm thinking of one trainer specifically that has a nice uh, stay in. Just hit it with an earthquake. That should do the trick. Boom, baby. Um, so maybe I will uh, pop over and show you some of those battles later on. But for today, I'm actually curious to look at this because we'll go to Saffron, heal the squad. Um, I want to go back to Kanto really quick. Not Kanto, go back to Johto really quick because I want to have a look at our room. That was foreshadowed at the beginning of the stream. Boom. Gotta love the magnet train music. Alright, so now we can go to good old New Bark Town. Um, so we have our mom here, obviously. She's got our money. I don't really need to get money right now. Uh, yes, we're gonna decorate the room! Um, okay, I don't remember how to do this. 
So she's been buying us some Poké Dolls. Withdraw item. Uh, let's see. So not that. Decoration. There we go. Uh, bed. Ooh, feathery bed. Oh, that's already set up. Okay. Poster. Okay, here are our ornaments. She has bought us a Pikachu doll. Put on the right side. Put a Charmander on the left side. Can I set up a fairy doll? Okay, so maybe if I do, that'll get rid of the Pikachu. There they are! Oh, it's an adorable Pikachu doll. It's an adorable Charmander doll. Oh, so cute. I know, I don't remember how you get it, but I know right there in the uh, top left corner, you can get a Snorlax doll. Maybe she will just buy that at some point later on. Um, but I don't know if you have to do something special for that. Totes adorbs, that's right. Um, so I'll show you the Clefairy doll real quick. Um, we'll put that on the right side. Put away the Pikachu doll. Uh, it looks just like the Copycats doll that we got for the Magnet Train. Um, so that's our room. And folks, we're probably honestly at a pretty good stopping point for tonight. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pop a save. Um, I'm really excited because... I think we'll probably end up having like one to three episodes remaining on Crystal. I am excited to get it finished up because there's some stuff here in Johto, the optional stuff that I want to show you guys. Um, kind of go into Mount Mortar, an area that we haven't even touched. Um, we can go to the Whirl Islands where uh, my favorite Pokemon resides. And we can go back to um, Tin Tower, where we where we caught Suicune, and we can ca catch another legendary Pokemon. Um, so again, those are completely optional. Um, no, play Crystal Forever. I know, I totally could. I mean, I will probably end up playing. I'll definitely end up playing the remakes, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, at some point. Um, I would not be surprised if I play maybe like a ROM hack or something, because um, there's a ROM hack called Crystal Legacy that I really love, um, and I would enjoy playing that. Um, but you know, I want to diversify, you know? And we'll still be playing, we're going to be playing Pokemon on this channel forever. I mean, come on. Silver Cave. Come on. Um, so even when we're not playing Pokemon, it's still in my heart. Um, but, folks, that one's awesome. You're so right. But with that, I'm going to call it tonight. I appreciate you tuning in. It has been a delight. It has been an honor. It has even been a privilege. But with that, I will bid you adieu until probably Wednesday. Peace out, guys. You have a great night.